So you've been here for probably about a week. Yep. Atlanta Motor Speedway. We're getting one of the Reeks Across America Charity. So tell me a little bit about the show, what we got going on, what you've experienced so far. Uh, so far, it's a uh, really great show. So what, what class are you in? How did, how did you get here? Uh, yeah, so Evan called me, said, uh, what's going on here? And uh, yeah, we're in the elite division, start of the national championships for years to come. Uh, yeah, should be pretty awesome. So how long have you been showing? Um, I've been showing since 2019. It's kind of when we started getting into it. Um, that was our first year at Louisville. Just took a work truck that we got done building and just kind of saw what it takes to compete at stuff like this and just started building from there. You've been around the world for a little bit in the truck show world. How has this judging been different than previous shows in the past season? So this, the judging here is by far the fairest that I've ever seen. Uh, just like Evan said uh, the other day when he was explaining all this, that it's not fair for rags down to be in the morning and then the guys at the end are just kind of get screwed out of uh, wiping their trucks and dust and whatnot. But this time with uh, rags down being midnight the night before, everybody has the same fair chance. And then you get 30 minutes before to finish wiping your truck, two guys, I think it's as fair as it can be. I love it. And then uh, a lot of the judges aren't typical truck show judges either. So. No, that, that was another cool thing. Like you go to the other shows, like some of them, they get a local car club to do it. It's like that, a little weird, but whatever. And then you get uh, other shows where you really don't know the people and they're quite intimidating. So you're just scared, nervous the whole time. And with these guys, everybody knows them and all friends and do your driver's interview and it's fine because all you're doing is telling your friends about your truck. I love it. So, Talking about the show itself and camaraderie around here, there's been a little bit of lighthearted smack talk for sure. Do you have anything against anybody? No, I, I don't have anything against anybody. There was, came in, I knew of everybody. I didn't know any, didn't really know everybody, but yeah, we're leaving here knowing everybody, having a good time, and everybody's competing with each other, talking smack, but at the end of the day, we're still able to sit behind the trucks and everybody has supper together exactly which is awesome last night right exactly Ran around had some fun made some new friends yep everybody's just hanging out the whole time together it's awesome that's what it's all about yep so if i were a judge right now can you give me a short little tour of your truck yeah we can do that so the truck is a 2000 peterbilt 379 uh the customer brought it to us and uh, he bought the truck out of new york and the truck was sitting for about 10 years and so they drug it out of the weeds, brought it to us. Uh, we put brand new frame rails under it. Uh, the suspension is off of a 2019 389. And uh, yeah, the uh, frame rails were already drilled for the correct holes and everything for suspension. So that was nice, just had to bolt it on. Uh, yeah, we went through, since it was sitting so long, we decided we probably better go through the motor. And uh, yes, yeah, so we did that in the shop didn't have to overhaul it we just kind of had to freshen stuff up and then yeah sandblasted frame rails cleaned up the motor got that all painted put a new 18 speed transmission in it uh, the truck itself was actually in really good shape for its age it only has about 600,000 miles on it and so yeah there really wasn't a whole lot of body work that needed to be done but we did end up putting um, a new newer sleeper on it that came off of a 2010 but we didn't want to have mismatched interior. So we actually took all the bracing and all the plastic out of the 2000 sleeper and retrofitted it into this one. That way we could still have the original interior. Yeah, we came up with uh, the air ride on this one. We built that. It's one of those things where they, a lot of people are building their own. It's not overly spectacular, but it works. Just one of those things that we did in-house. Um, and yeah, this was one of the first trucks that we actually built all of the stainless parts in our shop. So yeah, we built uh, the cabin sleeper drop panels, the steps. Um, the customer did bring us the floor, so that one was not built in-house. But uh, like the door pockets, 
built-in house, the mirror brackets, that was uh, our design that we actually had somebody else build at the time because then I didn't have a pipe bender, but now I do. The biggest thing we wanted to do with this truck was have the old school classy look and not do a fad that's gonna be gone in 10 years. So, and we, we really feel like it worked and come 10 years down the road, it's still gonna be a cool truck. But yeah, we wanted to stick with the, as close to original as interior as we could. That's why we ended up going with the rectangles instead of doing the diamonds like absolutely everybody does. And so, yeah, it's just uh, one of those styles that I don't think it's gonna go out of style. Go to the back of the truck and kind of the same thing back here. Most guys, they bring their deck plates all the way to the back. They got filler panels uh, in your tanks and they got eye panels. We didn't do anything. We didn't do that because uh, we wanted to make sure it was still kind of a tribute to how, th how things were in the 90s. So yeah, that's pretty well the gist of the truck. Biggest thing is I want to thank my guys for uh, helping get the truck done and cleaning it up. Especially want to thank the owner of the truck, Elton Weck, for allowing us to bring it here. And huge thanks to Evan and the Bennetts for putting this on. It is a great event. All right, guys, we're at the halfway mark, 15 minutes. Without further ado, third place goes to Tyler Vanderswag with Elton Weck, Peterbilt 2379, truck number nine.